Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is me, Waddles. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide series. I hope you're doing well today. Today, we're going to talk all about the elytra i have a, a sneaking suspicion that by the end of this episode we will have a brand new building in town for us to look at and say wow that looks pretty good <laughs> or at least that's the plan hopefully we can get a building in the town that looks uh, really really nice now i i think what we'll do is we'll split today's episode into almost two parts in a way Part one will be the elytra guide and the basics of the thing, and then part two will be building or, well, yeah, building and checking out and then marveling at our wonderful new building. The building is, of course, going to relate to the elytra as well. That's the only way to do things around here. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. The last episode was all about Optifine, by the way. I have totally forgotten about that whole episode summary thing. Again, the point is to summarize the last episode so you don't have to necessarily see it, and I forgot. Uh, so, this is an elytra. You can find an elytra in an end ship, which is in the end in the end cities. We did a whole episode on that already, so uh, that's that. That's how you get it. Now, once you get it, you are going to want to get two enchantments on it, in my opinion. Of course, the enchantments are optional, but I definitely lean towards recommending them. One of the enchantments is Mending. That's a treasure enchantment, and it's going to be a little bit difficult um, to get your hands on. You'll have to find it from a villager trade or fish it up in a book. Uh, you will also probably want Unbreaking on your Elytra as well, so it lasts longer. That's what we're going for. We got this book from AFK Fishing, so unfortunately, goodbye Silk Touch. Hello, Unbreaking Mending Elytra. That's all you need, really, on your Elytra. Again, enchantments totally optional. Now, the Elytra is going to take the place of your chestplate armor piece, so either you get protection or you get flying, basically. If you're in a dangerous situation, you'll probably want your chestplate. If you're on something tall, like the mob farm when I was building it, you should probably have your Elytra ready. Uh, now, there is an item that goes with Elytras very, very well. That item is the rocket. You will want rockets so you can soar around your world. Now, to activate the elytra, you will basically want to jump off of something and double tap the jump button, like this. Then you're going to start soaring. Now, while you're soaring, uh, use your fireworks uh, from time to time to give yourself a bit of a speed boost. You can time your firework launches basically based off of your speed. When you slow down, it's probably time to use another firework. If you have a mob farm like we have and a decent sugarcane farm, you can just spam fireworks if you'd like. It's totally your call. Now, using an elytra to get around your world is insanely efficient. Elytras are one of the fastest travel methods, and things look amazing with an elytra. Like, I'd like to go out into the ocean and get a little bit of a view of our, our, of our place. I haven't seen it from the sky, of course, because this is the first time uh, using my elytra. And, oh boy, <laughs> I love how our area looks. It looks so sweet, and the mob farm is... I mean, I think perfect. Now to land your elytra, you're going to want to basically kind of spiral in in like a circle, but be careful because if you ram into something with your elytra like I did, like I kind of crash landed, then you're going to take some damage and that's probably not desired. So uh, to land, basically, uh, you're going to need to practice just spiraling and, and slowing down before you hit things. <laughs> um, now, of course, hitting things is an option too, but really what you're looking for is what I cannot manage to show off, which is just slowly spiraling. Let's see if I can, I can get it again. Uh, flying is so fun, so maybe, maybe we can get a nice spiral, I guess, on this island here. So you spin in a circle, and boom, you land like that. Perfect. Now, if you have rockets, you can basically sprint jump and use a rocket, uh, get your timing right, and you will take off. So, rockets are very, very useful when it comes to elytras. The other useful thing, uh, well, that would be a building that is tall, 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 far up off the ground. That is today's uh, episode or build goal plan. By the way, I think this tree burnt down. From the balcony, the tree looked a little thin here, and yeah, I think I have a fire problem, so I'll need to rebuild this tree, unfortunately. You know me, I love the big trees, and yep, I was pretty bummed about that one, because this tree is perfect. Now, the tower building that we're gonna build. 
I think the tower would best fit in um, this lower area that we haven't really started building in yet. We already have a tower over here, which is the lighthouse, which we could totally launch our elytra off of. So I think that's another reason as to why we should put our new build down over here, kind of near the tree farm. Now, the materials, what are we going to use today? Well, I think we could use uh, like stone, mossy stone, stone bricks, cobblestone, and definitely this time some end stone bricks. We are going to branch out and try and relate this elytra tower to, of course, the end. Because that, my friend, is, of course, where the elytra comes from. So, uh, we need to find a piece of land first. Oh, that's right, and when we find a piece of land, we're, we're gonna need to deforest it, and that reminds me about this book right here. I was thinking about it, and I think the next tool that deserves mending is probably my tree axe. It's a pretty good axe. It has efficiency four uh, on breaking three and silk touch on it, so I think that's deserving of mending. We'll go ahead and throw the mending there, and now, um, I'll probably have to take a break sometime soon and mend up my axe, but uh, let's go ahead and start chopping some trees down now and clearing out room for our project. Aha, I somehow forgot a pretty big aspect when it comes to the elytra. If you don't have mending, then you won't be able to repair your elytra with experience, and that means you need to find an item. Prior to the Minecraft 1.13 update, players would repair their elytra with uh, leather. 1.13 introduced the Phantom, a mob that we actually haven't seen a single one of yet, and that Phantom mob drops Phantom Membrane. To repair your elytra, you're going to either need mending and experience, or Phantom Membranes. So today's build, I think this location is going to be perfect for a tower because look at how nice the mob farm looks from this angle. I, I really wanted to pay attention to this farm and see how it would look because we could use this tower for sort of an observation platform. Now, I think this is going to be a bit of a one-way build, like we'll only have a way up. The way up will be a bubble column, so we'll have water in the middle. I think I want this tower to honestly be a square tower, so... I think we'll start with maybe, ah, uh, gosh, uh, hmm, how do we want to do this? <laughs> Let's start with uh, this size of a tower, and then we'll kind of have maybe either an, an entry room or just filled in blocks. Now, I have some inspiration for this build that you should definitely know about. I started the planning for this build by thinking about uh, buildings or monuments that are just simple, like pretty much a straight up build, and what comes to mind? Well, the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C. In case you're not from the U.S., or in case you don't know, uh, Washington, D.C. has a lot of historical monuments to, like, presidents and, ow, ow, <laughs> to, like, presidents and important people, and uh, the Washington Monument, well, that's one of them. It's basically a tall, simple obelisk, and I like that idea. I'm also taking some inspiration from a picture I saw on Google Images, so yeah, that is that. Now, I think what we'll do is we'll go up uh, a set amount of blocks, so maybe this high, maybe not, then we'll go in, uh, whoops, elytras can be a little bit of a, a pain when you're building, but then we'll go in, uh, just, like, diagonally one, and continue going up, and then we'll do it probably one more time, so we'll have basically three sets, and then we will be incorporating end stone into this build, probably on the higher up portions, like, maybe we have a stone base, and then honestly, up here, we could start with, like, the end stone, we could probably do, like, a three-wide thing with some windows, and then our build will get even smaller, and we'll do even more end stone. So, back down on the bottom here, I definitely am going to need mossy stone bricks, uh, mossy cobblestone, a little bit of it, and probably stone bricks and smooth stone. I know I placed a lot of cobble here, but I, I actually don't think I'll be using any plain cobblestone on the build. I just don't like it. It looks way too worn out for what I'm going for. I'm going for something special, important, and cool. Uh, so... Um, let's start with just kind of mixing blocks up here, and we'll take a look at what we have. Hmm, I don't know, I, I think about seven feels right for the height of one section, but I, I also think rounding this part would look good, like if we did a staircase and then nothing then maybe a slab nothing staircase i i i don't know uh but i'm going to do something that 
should make you very proud of me. Look at the scaffolding. I am using it. Not dirt, not cobblestone. No, 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 no. Scaffolding. <laughs> uh, but I need to go back down because I need the stone bricks now. So, I have a soul sand in the middle where our elevator will go. Then, um, on this next part, I think we need to begin using the end stone. So, that means probably windows. Uh, if we're doing seven, we could do... Uh, a too high window, then we could do another too high window. But, 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 I want to keep these beams coming in. So this is, um, this is three. I, I took the top three beams off of the top of our wooden corners to hopefully make things look like they're slanting inwards, you know. So uh, there's four, this would be five, six, seven. So that's how tall this goes. And then we can do um, two windows, just like... Like that. I, I think that would be fine, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. And I'm doing oak because I think oak will match a lot of our, our builds or the colors that we have. So we have that happening for us. Then again, up here, I think we go in one. And this time it's going to get really, really thin. So maybe we want to use like... Well, we could do this, and then we could do, like, fences in between, right? To to keep things looking cool. And then I think this will go up to a floor, and we'll just have a floor, and then we can make, like, a way to jump off going in each and every direction so we can fly whichever way we need. Uh, yeah, I, I think that all makes sense. I, I like how it sounds in my head, at least. But now we're going to find out if I have enough end stone for the build. Hopefully, my... my my hopes and plans and dreams were to not go all the way over to the end because I haven't done anything to our road, which is not good. I definitely need to work on that road a little bit, but yeah, I haven't done anything to it, uh, so hopefully I can avoid having to take the big break out. Well, I guess I could fly over there, so it's not that big of a deal after all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if I have to go, I'm going to go. If I don't have to go, you already know that I am not going to go. We should have enough to finish, though. We're not using all that many supplies. And then up here, uh, like I said, fences. So maybe we keep things going. <sighs> maybe just four. Four should be fine. So I don't know. Yeah, I think four is the way to go to keep things balanced. Then up here, we'll have our floor. So if I'm going to do fences in... Whoa. Oh, boy. If I'm going to do fences up there in between those two columns, I think I could do uh, some oak planks up on the top for our jumping off sections <laughs> that sounds a little a little painful but yeah for our jumping sections and the section idea the whole concept here we have a plank a plank and then finally an upside down staircase to kind of taper things off this is definitely the part of the build where i'm getting my inspiration I've seen quite a bit of comments from you guys asking me about uh, inspiration. Where do I get the ideas and, and, yeah, the inspiration to continue doing builds? Well, honestly, sometimes Google. If you're feeling kind of dry on direct inspiration, get an idea. The idea could be a tower, it could be, you know, a house or, or a modern house. And then go to Google and search, you know, whatever you're looking for. So modern house, modern tower, something like that. And maybe, just maybe, you'll see something that you like and that will spark the whole build idea. And in my opinion, as long as you give credit where it's due, that's totally fine. That's cool. Obviously, another great place for inspiration is videos. But me, myself, I try to stay away from those so I don't end up doing the same thing as someone, you know? So, so yeah, try consulting Google or um, YouTubers. But now we need to put a roof on this thing. And this is where I get confused. So... If we were to go up, could we create a dome? Would it be possible? Um, so we could go like that and then add like this. Oh uh, man, this is going to be a really compact dome if we can even do a dome. We could use slabs in it uh, for sure. I, I think that would this would work actually. Y yeah, like, like a slab in the middle and then slabs on these corners and then a slab on the top. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, I gotta be careful. All right, let's try this out. Slab, slab, uh, different slab, another slab, this slab, that slab, this, there, boom. 
done is uh, but is it uh we do have the elytra all right now let's just glide on over here and do we like the thing that i put on top hmm well you see i don't actually have any particular negative feelings at the moment so i think it's a keeper. I, I think we have a keeper. I think as a whole, the tower is pretty cool looking. The The top kind of contrasts from the bottom quite a bit. So maybe we have to change that eventually. But I think we're good to move on to the detailing phase of this build and the interior. Now, uh, the interior, I, I'm leaning towards something pretty lame. I don't have really the need for any storage in, in a build like this. Uh, what would I put in here? Really nothing at all. So... What I'm thinking is uh, that we could leave probably just a shell of a build on the inside. We'll do like a hallway walking over towards our whole elevator and then really nothing in here. It's kind of lame, kind of boring, but yeah, there, there's just no need for a function. We could do a decoration in here, but no matter what, we need blocks around our elevator here. So that's going to really like cut our space down. So I don't know. Maybe what we'll do is we'll decorate the front like part of the build the small area and then the back will just kind of be be blocked off and you know i think it would make sense to do end stone in here as well at, at least in this part um or no no we need glass we need glass we need purple glass that's the, that's the way so because we have windows in this top part of the build we will need to make sure things stay uh, open and, and bright and you know uh, seeable so I think we could just double up on the purple glass in here and that should be perfect but I should definitely fill the corners in uh, on this part of the build so we can't see around the glass and, and notice that there is uh, not much in there so we'll just fill it all in I think that's probably the best way to do things so we'll end up with a solid very strong and supported build which is absolutely fine with me Maybe on the top part though, uh, maybe, we'll switch things up and we'll do oak beams. Alright, so that's good. Now it's time for the water. Um, well, hmm, how could we hold the water in? Maybe we could try some oak doors and let's do signs as well. We only need one batch of both and then could we do like a no not that way uh could we do a door there and then there and then could we place ah we can now will this oh it won't okay so we could do doors like that so we kind of walk in and then we would go up once i have the water in there i i mean i think that's good then we have a little bit of room in the build it's it's not much maybe i could place like uh, a scaffolding for sure and then like a bed that that might be a good use of the space uh, and then like a chest or something for decoration but yeah that's how the water thing will work so I should go up to the top now I think dump my water and then just fill it all in of course we want an actual uh, bubble stream so that means water sources in this whole build and what is the fastest way to do that you say well let's head over to the ocean and of course grab some kelp but uh first i i, I need some space <laughs> yeah um you know the dome we'll just say it looked weird on this structure so i removed it and i went with uh some small flags instead i'm i'm not 100 sold on the flags honestly but I, I think they look okay. Um, we can still launch off of this thing, which is the only really um, thing that matters. So we need to finish up the build by doing a little bit of detailing on it and around it. I already have been doing uh, detailing on the build. I haven't done around quite yet, and I won't be doing too much um, in terms of like around the build just because I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with the town over here yet. I am... Um, just you know kind of still in the dark i i know there'll be more buildings over here but just it's it's a matter of where so we'll decorate around the immediate vicinity of the bottom of the tower but then uh we'll probably end up leaving a lot of it uh kind of open for future builds and interpretation i guess i don't know if i really am gonna like um those little campfire things there they look good from the ground though actually so 
you know, I, I'm going to keep it. It adds a nice little touch of detail. We're keeping those things. I decided to not round the tower either. That's not really what I'm going for after all. I, I thought about it. I took the corners off and then I kind of realized, uh, yeah, that's, that's not quite it. So no corner changes either. Now I have some banners here and I think soon we're going to need to dive into the loom a little bit more and figure out how we can, I guess, like create banners that symbolize each one of our builds you know like uh like we could do like an end thing for this one of course and then like some kind of tree for the tree farm so then i could create some kind of labeling guide map and that guide map could definitely be useful in future world downloads or just kind of a cool showy offy flashy thing <laughs> you know like it would be pretty cool now we definitely need to come and add some end rods onto the build too and that's where I was thinking I need my scaffolding. Uh, no. <laughs> I was thinking that we could put the end rods on um, these corner things to, to just keep the build nice and bright. Uh, I don't know if it's really going to work everywhere, so we might need to come back in with buttons in some cases. But I think that is the perfect way to add a little bit more light onto this. I added gates onto the bottom of these staircases to help create... a a bit of an arch or like a subtle slope putting a slab there just really wouldn't cut it for me so that's what i decided to do there but uh end rods are gonna go all around this build and then i'll do a little bit to the outside of it but not too much one thing that i know i will be adding like right now in this next step is a puddle near the side of this build which sounds weird but the puddle is in case i climb up there and then realize i don't have an elytra <laughs> <laughs> I have a strong feeling that I might be, you know, taking the elytra on and off. And also, you know, knowing me, I am forgetful. I will forget that I removed my elytra. So we need some sort of, uh, you know, quick way out that, that is safe. We'll double check just to be safe, but I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. Like, it's pretty much... Oh, yeah, this is easy. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> well, it would be easy. I can definitely land that, I promise. Uh, so that will be incorporated into the area around this build as well. But yeah, like I said, unfortunately, we can't do too much of the surrounding area until we have more of the town in. So I'll do what I can now, and then that'll be that for today. Oh, my. All right. Well... We're going to pause and deal with this problem really quick here. Uh, sorry, guys. You are not wanted on this property. No, no, no. You're supposed to ask, in fact. Um, you're supposed to also shoot each other, not me. Hey, hey, not bad, if I do say so myself. Uh, still looking pretty good. Oh boy, I can already tell you that I am going to love working on this part of the town because switching things up and using these different blocks today and then even different flowers when I'm decorating, I, I don't know, like something about it is really, really fun. But here's what I have for now. It's not much. Uh, we have our pond and then just a, a little bit of plants around. I left room for a road to go from here to where wherever and whatever we do maybe we have a road going long ways maybe a, a road just goes straight out that way i'm really just not too sure yet we'll see uh, eventually now the build itself we go up to the top and then we can easily rock it uh, right off of this thing and go wherever we need to go so over to the mob farm quickly easy over to i don't know the lighthouse easily and quickly uh, also very very easy um i took some damage but yep so that's a nice little checkpoint that'll help us i think travel around our world a, a little bit more. oh boy <laughs> uh, be careful guys when you're using an elytra yeah um like i said you gotta get that slow 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 landing and you know you should probably be wearing armor too my helmet broke last episode we'll have to do a little bit of an enchanting haul really really soon but that brings us to today's comment of the day the comment is from deadroid4209 waddles you should make a zero tick sugarcane farm for paper for your elytra rockets and Yes, I definitely should. And then I saw a reply, and the reply was saying, that'll probably be soon, and you guys are predicting my whole series. You, you gotta stop it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, we will probably be doing an improved uh, sugarcane farm very, very soon to to get us lots of sugarcane. And hi, guys. I wanted to come check on this, and this is a problem. Uh, we're gonna have to drop our falling platform or landing platform down a little bit i think but 
things are running well as always but that is everything that you really need to know about elytras and how to use them and that is a brand new build what do you think definitely share your thoughts uh with me down below i'd like to send a special shout out to uniquely sarah uh and this episode thank you very much for your support and thank you everybody else for watching the links to all of my handles like my twitter my instagram patreon and more are down in the description below so check those out if you want and uh, go have a good one i will see you next time goodbye everybody